there is not a more beautiful sight than babies and chocolate. <laughs> I'm sure there is. I'm just being silly. Anyway, I'm coming on to do a comparison about the crunchy and the violet crumble. But before I do, I'm showing you these ladies because her Londa sent me a message today. As y'all know, her Londa adopted her Elijah, which is the Knox sculpt from me. And I sent him home in a G diaper. And I always talk about how G diapers were my favorites to use on babies. And I like them for my reborns and saffron and sapphire actually wear them and I have a couple more in my bucket down there but I'm sharing this as a public service announcement because inside of a G diaper there is this plastic liner that is made much like the plastic pants which I've seen some of you acquiring recently if you look on here, my plastic, I ha it's folded in, and so it's its running along the fabric of this body, because these bodies have like a, oh, they're, it's, they're kind of odd bodies, these heavenly bodies. So this is touching here. However, on her Londa's Knox, and she did make a video, she messaged me before she, before she posted it, I don't know if she's posting now, she was doing a changing video, and this plastic was up against Knox, and so he has some of the paint is now on the plastic. Now, I don't know why the paint, she said it still feels textured, she, the paint texture still is there, so I don't know if it was some kind of chemical reaction between that plastic and the, um, and the, um, the vinyl, um, so she and I are, are talking about that. That's not of importance, but we both wanted to pass on to people that if you're using G diapers and you notice that the plastic is touching their vinyl to take it out, she's already taken hers out and thrown it away. Um, otherwise, I also know that some of you, as I said, have recently been getting those you know, old-fashioned plastic pants to put over your cloth diapers. So you might want to be careful um, because that's what this these feel like, those old-fashioned plastic pants. So I don't know, again, if, if it's something that it's made out of. I've not had um, this happen before. So um, anyway, so we just both wanted to make people on our channels aware of this because, um, you know, I don't, again, we don't know if it's the, you know, rubbing back and forth on the plastic or some kind of, we were trying to guess together, she and I, but anyway, it doesn't really matter what the reason other than um, it happened and we want everybody aware of it. My babies, I came and checked them and again, like I said, their plastic is tucked in, so I don't have that, so I'm, uh, again, I'm not sure. So anyway, but we want, both wanted to, you know, share that. Um, and now I'm going to discuss these two because Dear Sweet Amanda sent me some crunchies, and if I still had some from Suzanne in the UK, I would put that one here because the ones from the UK, they're all Cadbury's, said that it's um, chocolate-covered honeycomb or something to that. And then I did a little research because this one doesn't say this. This one says sponge toffee. And so I did go look up, because then I looked on the ingredients, there's no honey in these. And so I looked up the packaging for the crunchies from the UK. Also, no honey. I was very perplexed. And then, and I, I, I'm going to forget names, but it might have even been Suzanne. I was told in the comments that the Violet Crumble was the original crunchy and that it is chocolate-covered honeycomb. And lo and behold, it does have in the ingredients list, which I've eaten one, by the way, and I love them. It was my first Violet Crumble. Um, it does say in the ingredients, honeycomb, 40%. I know y'all can't read that, but it is in there. And so it does, these do taste quite similar, but there is a difference. And I found these to, even though they're crunchy, they're a bit chewier inside, like they leave that honey sticky kind of in your teeth. So that is a difference I found. They're both fabulous. I still love Crunchy, but I do love these as well. And I'm going to have to treasure this one for a while. But um, so I thought that was really interesting. And since now I was comparing, I guess I was, when I thought about doing the video earlier, I was going to compare that diaper and this one. So that's why I elected to save the diaper conversation 
to do with my comparing chocolates. So anyway, thank you ladies for sending me this chocolate. Um, Y'all know I love chocolate very much, and Cadbury's is my, one of my favorites. And um, But anyway, if y'all have G diapers out there, check. And if you have the plastic, do get rid of it. I mean, if it's, you know, rubbing. These bodies allow me to keep them. But again, it's something I will check on my other, you know, when I use my other G diapers on other babies. And then, for those of you who have purchased plastic pants, just be careful that... Um, because, again, I don't know if it's some kind of reaction between that elastic there rubbing. I don't know. I don't know if it's rubbing. But rub, I don't know. Well, I, I do know that people have said that their babies get shiny um, from dressing and undressing, rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, which these babies are still shiny because they're not sealed yet. Um, so I don't know if the rubbing of the, the elastic did it. Um, I really don't know, but we, you know, Perlanda and I both thought it was very important to let people know because I have, you know, touted the G diapers as my favorite, and I certainly would not want to be responsible for somebody spending that kind of money, and then their baby might, you know, lose some paint. So um, I just want that out there as a little public service announcement. And then again, like I said, I've seen several ladies buying the little plastic pants. So, oh, we didn't look at you before. Hi, sweetie. I didn't show her before because I actually had the chocolate sitting there waiting. But see how tiny she is? That's her next to a chocolate bar. Let me slide it down there. She's Let's see if she's two violet. She is the length of two violet crumbles. So for all you know what a violet crumble is, <laughs> you know how tiny she is. All right, everybody. Have an absolutely fabulous, fabulous rest of your week. I hope I'll be back. And I know there's more tags but they've escaped my memory and I did not go back and look. So if there's a tag out there that I've missed, let me know down below. I'm doing my best, ladies. Oh, there was one about questions that you answered from the perspective of your baby that I saw Debbie and Lori do. I'd like to do that one. I have to go write everything down. So anyway, everybody, have a fabulous evening. Mickey Girl says, bye, Mommy. She moved me. And Anastasia says, bye, Mommy. Oh, she's so sleepy. All right, everybody. Have a blessed, blessed evening. And thank you again for stopping by. Bye-bye.